Good morning and another quick video this morning looking at Dolby Atmos. Now I've already done a video looking at Dolby Atmos for your home cinema and how to set that up and I'll put a link in the top right hand corner so you can click on that now if you're interested in doing that. But what I want to talk about in this video specifically is how to set up Dolby Atmos for your headphones. Now there's a couple of things you do need to know obviously. First off, you will need the Dolby Access app and I've already gone through in the previous video how to download that so I'm not going to go over that again here. The other thing you will need to know though is that in order to use Dolby Atmos for your headphones you will need to spend a little bit of money and there's an in-app purchase within the Dolby Access app and that's around about £12. Now it's up to you whether you think it's worthwhile or not. There is a demo though so you can try it out first. If you're not interested in Dolby Atmos though, Microsoft have their own alternative and we will go through that briefly in a moment. But for now, let's just go in and have a look at how you set it up. So first off, obviously, once you've downloaded the app, you want to go into it and you will see a screen come up and it will be a sort of purpley pink screen. And that's the first menu you will see when you first load up the app. Now I've set everything to stereo on my system just so we can go through this as if we're starting from scratch. So the first thing you'll see is how would you like to experience Dolby Atmos? And you've got with my home theatre, which I've done in the previous video, with my headphones, which is what we're going to do now, and not now. And that would make for a very short video, so uh, <laughs> we're not going to do that. So let's go in and have a look at how to set it up with my headphones. So if you press A and load that up, and you'll get this screen. And I mentioned this in my previous video, but it's worth going over again. I was a little bit confused when I first saw this <laughs> because I thought you could change these settings from here, but no, you can't. What you actually will need to do is go into Xbox settings and you can load them directly from here. But for now, let's just go through what you need to do. And it says, configure Xbox audio for Dolby Atmos for headphones. And it says to get started, one, in audio output settings for headset audio, set headset format to Dolby Atmos for headphones. And that's the little box in the right hand side here, the grayed out one. And it says headset format, Dolby Atmos for headphones. And that's the setting you would need. And then two, it says, if your headphones connect via HDMI or optical audio, A, select headset is connected through HDMI or optical audio. And again, if you look on the right hand side here, you've got a little checkbox there and you would select that checkbox if you're using something like an Astro or another 5.1 headset that plugs in directly to HDMI or to the optical audio out on the Xbox. And that's specific to those types of headsets. If you're just using a standard headset, one that plugs via an audio jack into your controller, then you would leave that box unchecked. The other thing you need to know if you are using a headset that plugs in via HDMI or optical is what it says in B here. And it says turn off any built in sound enhancements. And what that means is if you've got any DSP effects within the actual headset itself, you would need to turn those off because they'll mess with Dolby Atmos and you want Dolby Atmos handling the surround sound. That's why you've got this app. When you've done that, it says three, return to this app to complete setup. So we've gone through that briefly, but let's just go in and actually have a look at the settings themselves. So if we go to Xbox settings by pressing A and we'll see this. As I say, I've set HDMI audio to stereo uncompressed as well for the time being so we could see these menus. And the one we want is this one here, headset audio. So if you go over there and then you press A to bring up the drop down list, you've got stereo uncompressed, Windows Sonic for headphones, and that's the one I was talking about. This is an alternative to Dolby Atmos. Now, it's a free one, so it might be worth experimenting with that if you want as well. You won't have to pay the £12. Obviously, you pay your money, you take your choice. It's up to you. But for now, we're looking at Dolby Atmos for headphones. So go down there and press on A and then that is selected. And this is the selection we were talking about before. As I say, 
If you're using an HDMI or optical audio headset that plugs directly into the Xbox and then will usually be wireless to the headset, you would need to check this checkbox. And it says, all audio is optimized for headsets right now. As you can see on the left hand side, all the options are grayed out. So nothing would be going out to your amp at this time. And it says, once you unplug your headset, it'll go back to normal. Uh, it also goes back to normal if we uncheck the box. Now, as I say, if you're using a standard headset, using a, a headphone jack that plugs directly into your controller on your Xbox, you can plug that in and you can use this as is now without having to select that checkbox. That checkbox is only for if you're using those kind of fancy pants headsets that you can buy for hundreds of pounds. But that's it, basically. That's how you set it. It's just two settings. Dolby Atmos for headphones under headset format, and then either select or unselect using HDMI or optical audio headset, depending on the headset. And if you're using different headsets and you're experimenting with them, you might need to check or uncheck that, depending, as I say, on what you're using. But that's that. Now we can go back to Dolby Access. And as you can see, we've got the menu that we had up before. So what you want to do is you go across and you click on continue. And it brings up this page. And now basically we're all set. Certainly for headphones, I'd have to go back in and set it up again for home theater. But we've got these options now and there's, what is it, four demos. And you can actually plug your headset in now, put it on, and then you can listen to these demos and it will basically show you what Atmos can do. And yeah, it sounds pretty good. I quite like it. I think uh, it's quite impressive, actually. It, it has a, a kind of pseudo surround effect using stereo headphones and it's it's pretty good. But anyway, that's how you set it up. Hopefully that was some use to you guys. I'm done. I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea because my voice is going. And uh, I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.